got no idea what you all are yapping about, but I'll take you on if that's what you want. Hello, this is HG Daily, and welcome back to Boss Time! And let's play Bravely Second, the demo! Let's take on Amy and her two Imperial Guards. Okay, so at the start here, I mostly want to examine all of them. So now Nikolai, I don't have equipped with the Missile Annie command. So in order to do his own examining, you should have a magnifying glass if you got one from the shop at the, or well, from the adventurer, that is, after unlocking it at the shop at the moon base there. So if you didn't get some for free like I did, you could buy it for 100p. It's very cheap. And then let's see, with you, now I have him at maximum MP, so he'll get full charge going while casting lightning. And I only want to do one in the first round there. And then everyone else, examine the other two there and see what we're dealing with. They really shouldn't do too much. Okay, so you saw how the, sh the desert shield used that iron wall. And that's going to... Well, you'll see in a moment here. Uh-oh. Yeah, she just made her attack fire elemental. But yeah, you saw there the Desert Shield took a bit less damage, even though they are weak to lightning there. But, well, we're working on that. Hopefully he won't use Iron Wall in the next round when I'm going to blow my load on all of them. So let's see, after this, Okay, I'm going to need to buff up the party here. So let's go with two Mystic Boons on you, because he's going to be doing most of the work there. And then with Singing, I want to use Love Power, which is a little weaker than the Physical Boon, but it hits all party members. And I want to get that on Jan and Magnolia there. And they'll both get 40% instead of 30% individually by doing that. Okay, and then, let's see, with you, let's go with two lightning spells, hopefully able to finish off the desert shield there. And then I want to go with fire hammer on Amy there with the fire rod equipped, or rod of fire. And then, let's see, with Jan, let's just go double crescent moon. And also with Magnolia, Double Crescent Moon, that should be able to take them out if we don't have another Iron Wall going on. But yeah, let's get all the buffs going here. Thank you for not singing, Nikolai. But uh, okay, they're not using Iron Wall, so we should be able to kill all of them. Fortunately, they don't hit too hard when I'm not defend or defaulting. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, we got it. Good, good. Now we're in the red. Fire hammer! Got her! Two rounds. Easy enough there. Yeah, I don't know why she makes her, her weapon fire elemental. It's not like we're going to be weak to fire or something. I think it increases your damage or your attack a little bit. I think it's like based on your uh, magic attack stat, how much additional damage you get out of it or something. But for defeating Amy, we get a bomb fragment. And that's going to be important coming up here with what I want to do next. And also for defeating her, we unlock the Hawkeye job class. Victory is ours again! Now, free the child, you scoundrel! Darn you meddling kids! Take this, why don't you? What are you gonna do? Watch out! Dude? Uh-oh. Did... Are you alright? You're hurt? Did something happen? You've left your back wide open! I've got you now! But we just killed you! Magnolia! Well, how, how many bodies can we throw at this guy? Uh, you! Or Jan could shoot him. Oh, or her. Come on, boys. Let's pack it in. I'm calling it a day. 
Well, yeah, it's probably getting close to nighttime by now. What? You, you sure, boss? Why not? See that? That's our signal. I finally get to go home to my sweet darling. What signal? <laughs> Roger that. What sweet darling? Looks like you punks will walk away today. But I'll be paying you back for this real good. Well, remember that for later. Guys. At least we got the child back. Magnolia, are you all right? I'm perfectly fine. Oh. But what about the child? I thought you got like slash back there or something. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Well, at least he's happy. It looks as though you're fine as well. What a relief. I mean, were they even like really kidnapping him? He just seemed to like come along and they were like, oh, okay, uh, okay. Well, I'm not. I mean, I am, but promise you won't do anything like that again. Well, why not? It's kind of in the job description. <laughs> I'm not too worried. I seem to have found myself a white knight. Oh, okay. Thanks? Oh, uh, w no. I, I mean, I was just... Dude? Ball buster indeed. Why am I starting to feel like a third wheel? <laughs> you are. Oh. To be young and feel the first stirrings of love again. Uh, I guess. But all right, and also for, uh, what is that? Yeah, for getting this far, we get some more items to carry into the main game itself. But we still have a little bit of business to take care of here. So now that we've unlocked the Hawkeye job class, it's one of my favorites in the demo there i want to make everyone into a hawkeye if only just to learn one ability there uh let's see yeah barrage there so each time you deal damage you'll get a multiplier on it for each subsequent one so it's like one well one for your first hit then 1.1 then 1.21 for the third hit and 1.331 for the fourth hit i think Something like that. So, yeah, it, and it works on both magic and physical attacks. So, I want everyone to learn that. We could probably learn it in one battle there. Although, my physical attackers, I'm going to want to uh, stick on Hawkeye for a bit longer than that. Okay, so now, let's get back on to... Why don't we give you black and white magic so you can have arrow if we run into the appropriate enemies there. And as for abilities, you know, let's not really worry about that right now. Oh, well, oh yeah, not right now. Uh, I want to learn barrage and then I'll rework the abilities. Okay, and then let's get you on spirit magic there. So you got that ready to go. Let's see, Hawkeye, you really don't need acrobatics at this point. Because uh, Hawkeye has, or shamanism, that's their job command. You get Sidewinder, which is pretty good for uh, hitting a lot of enemies. But you can target a specific number of enemies too, as opposed to all or just one with an attack there. So if there's only like one or two enemies, you're probably better off with Crescent Moon. But if there's like three or four, you probably want Sidewinder there. So I'm going to be using that. And another really nice thing about uh, Hawkeye is that you have maximum proficiency in pistols or firearms there. So that's pretty nice. So this will be my final job class for Jan. And then for Magnolia, let me change something here a bit. Okay, so let's go on to the broad axe there. Not only is it stronger as... Hawkeye, you have better weapon proficiency, but it's also strong against plant type enemies, which is everything except the witch in this dungeon. So that's pretty nice. I just didn't want to equip it earlier there. And the drawback of axes, just like every other RPG, you have a bit less accuracy with them. And in this case, you also lose a little bit of a crit rate, though I'm not really concerned about that. Okay, so we got that. We don't need to examine any enemies right now. So why don't we just get 
you do on black and white magic. I could probably do with some healing while I'm at it. So why don't we get, yeah, Nikolai to help out. Well, we didn't take that much damage from the fight. But, uh, okay, so now there's one more treasure to pick up around here. Let's go take a look around. If I'm going in the right place, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell where that slope is without looking on the map there. I could have gotten this before fighting Amy, but I wanted to fight her while I could with full MP on you to pick up. But Thousar, however you pronounce it, it's the only great sword in the demo, I believe. And yeah, it's not really that extraordinary. I don't think there's even any dragon type enemies in the demo here. So yeah, I mean, it's just attack power and that's it. Yeah, I don't know why you would want that, but well, I could sell it. Was that a cat in the distance? Or maybe I'm hearing my cat through the headphones. I don't know. But, uh, okay, we got that. Why don't we fight one battle around here? I've got to be, like, really close to getting into one. And hopefully gain a level for Hawkeye there. All right. And after, yeah, fighting, I think it was four consecutive battles. Or maybe it was five, whatever it is. Yeah, we gained two levels for Hawkeye because I got so much... JP out of it. Another nice thing about Hawkeye is you see on the bottom of the bottom screen there, yeah, they have very good uh, proficiency with heavy armor and helmets, so in shields. So, yeah, their defense is really good too. So, I was able to survive in that battle a lot more than I otherwise would. Okay, let's just get a little bit of healing going in there. And then let's get it. Well, actually, hold on. I want to. Uh, change my setup a little bit okay so we got hawkeye done there so now let's see i think that's everything that i really care to learn for nikolai so let's make him back into a red mage so that way we have at least one mage with decent agility there and then yeah we'll put you on spirit magic there and let's see i want to get barrage into the setup here so we'll still stick with Full charge, maybe prolong support if it becomes relevant. Let's see, in the red, definitely want to hold on to that. And barrage, and that'll help out when I'm casting a lot of spells over and over and over again in a single round there. And then with you, yeah, let's make you back into a wizard for the remainder of the demo, I believe. And also get barrage going for you. Let's see, yeah, get that going, that'll be, oh, I want to equip a different second ability, uh, let's see, black and white magic for now, hmm, no, let's give you miscellany, because there's going to be a new enemy that I want to fight in the near future, but otherwise I would give him black and white magic, okay, so with Jan, well, you're already a Hawkeye, and I'm just going to keep you there, so let's see, let's go with, I need something to, fill the space so i might as well go with that then we'll go with multitask and barrage together those two work really well together there and then let's see for magnolia let's see okay you guys both have black and white magic and then we got multitask and barrage for you there i still want to keep magnolia as a hawkeye right now uh, let me see what else is... Yeah, I want to get Warhead. That's the ability that Amy used to make her attack Fire Elemental there. So yeah, it does get augmented a little bit by your magic attack. But I'm not extraordinarily concerned about that. The only time I would actually use it is if a target is weak to an element or is going to be weak to an element. But uh, okay, so we got that. Yeah, Warhead is basically the substitute for uh, sword magic. So now, let's uh, teleport out of there. Or spell fencer, that was it. And let's see. Okay, so we got that. I'm just thinking, let me see how far we are from where I would like to go. Oh, I'm really far away. Okay, I'm not going to be doing that. There's something I want to do on the far west coast that the... 
uh, what was it, the Matriarch was telling us about earlier, but it's very far away right now, and we're going to be going there in the near future anyway. So I will wait a little while, and hopefully I'll remember to equip Miscellany. But all right, now we got that. Let's get back home. I still need to kill some more of those, uh, what were they called? Sandhoppers. To completely fill out the bestiary there. So I'm still going to chain battles together on the overworld until I've killed 29 of every enemy. Eventually, once I completely fill out the bestiary for the overworld enemies, I'll stop chaining those battles together. Oh wow, I'm surprised it's nighttime already. Well, in any case, yeah, now that we've gotten Amy out of the way, there's a couple more quests that we could pick up. So let's see what we can do. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, really? I don't recall there being anything there in the first game. But I suppose we could. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could have possibly happened to him? But, uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Let's see, does... Uh... Agnes, have anything to say about that? Hold on. Okay, yeah, there. Okay. Then, what else do you got? Oh. How, how powerful could they possibly be? Oh. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to buy a couple things, but we should be good. It, yeah, we got it. We found these nice apples in the forest. Or a banana. Whatever works for you. Not that they would have bananas in a desert, I would think. But, well, maybe we can smuggle some in. No. No, that's another game, viewers. No banana smuggling in this game. But, uh, okay, so let's see. We got that quest. And then I would like to buy the remaining spells that I've yet to buy. Though I, I don't think I'd ever use them. But I have the money. So I might as well get everything 100%. Really, the only thing that I might want, maybe physical wood or uh, elemental mirror. So you reflect specific elements with that. Though I think that it would only work on a spell. Not, I would think that wouldn't work on a physical attack. Hmm, I don't know. I never really use it, but I just want to get all of the spells out of the way there. Okay, so we got those, and then I would also like to buy... Well, I don't need them right now, but I'm going to need them when we get to that next dungeon. I want to buy two of these. Harina... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Shimag, Shimet, I don't know. But I want to get two of those, because they protect against the blind status. And that will come up in the next dungeon. So, yeah, just have those ready to go. If you want to wait until later to buy them, you could if you wanted. But yeah, I only really need two because blind only applies to your physical attack, not your magical attacks in this game anyway. But uh, sure, why not? You got anything new? What else do we got? No, just the same one that she was talking about before. But yeah, this is what I was talking about there. Not really a quest, but there's... A an, another enemy that we can encounter over there that can be a little tough to kill especially with physical attacks but i will see what we can do with that okay is everyone on well they're not all on their final job classes let's see i still want to finish off hawkeye for magnolia there but uh why don't we make it daytime and rest up while we're at it yeah, I was kind of lucky in the battle after the boss fight where, because I switched to a job class that had less MP than you had after the boss fight, he still had full charge ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, that helped me survive that battle, or at least kill the enemies, so they wouldn't kill me. And let's see, if we go back over here... Let's see, the Dorm Mother, or Dorm, dorm Mother, has another side quest for us. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, sure. What do you got? Oh, okay. Did I get some of those before? I thought I saw some of them in my inventory. But, uh, well, that's a lot of money. Let me see. Let me check my inventory. But, uh, let's see what we got. That would be... Let's see. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of those already. So, yeah. Done deal. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get through that. Accept the quest. And turn in the mushrooms. Huh? Why can't I give you the mushrooms? Dude? Well, if you go back into your inventory, they're gone upon accepting the quest. So... Yeah, we have to go all the way back there, kill a whole bunch of Mykonids, and win them all over again. Most of the time, they don't pull this BS on us, but we gotta go back there. I mean, it's gonna be easy now. We've gained so many levels and new jobs and everything. They will be a lot easier for me to kill this time around. But let's see, what is a Cremini anyway? I'm guessing it's some kind of mushroom or spore that she wants us to get. But can we find enough of those from the Myconids at the forest? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.